I'd like to look here at incorporating imagery into ArcGIS. You'll see that I've already opened Arc and I have the toolbox and table of contents here and an empty door window. Now what I'd like to do is to bring in an image. Now if I go straight to the, the add theme button or add data, you'll see in my exercise 8 for example I have a number of different pieces of data that I can add. But I actually all already know that there, there should be more image data sets available there but I can't see the image data set that I want. So what I need to do is if I cancel this one and go up to Customize and to Arc Map, Map Options, under this raster tab you see at the top here, if I click on File Formats, what you'll see is that Arc is already defaulting to search only some file formats and the, the default output from NV actually isn't included in the search that it does initially. So what we need to do is just to change this and so it will then search to find all raster formats. This can be a little bit slower but at least it will allow us to see the image that we're looking for. So I click on that one and OK and OK again down here. Now this time when I go up to the add data button and it's looking in exercise 8 you'll see that I can see a number of different files here that weren't available to me previously. The image that I want, would like to add here is just the NDVI image, so I just click on that one and add. And it might ask you if you'd like to build pyramids, just allow that. And we've got the image showing here. Now if I zoom to the full extent there, just by right clicking, you'll see that that's not the way the NDVI image looked when we created it in Envy. And you'll also see in the table of contents here, the values of low to high being somewhat ridiculous numbers and we know that the values of NDVI should be between minus 1 and positive 1 and that's not what we're seeing in our window here. Now this is because ARC doesn't automatically calculate the statistics of an image so it doesn't know how to display it. It's quite easy to fix though. If we right click on the image there and go down to properties just off the screen there you bring up the layer properties and what we can see here is we're click we've clicked on stretched and you'll see that again this high value and low value okay and we know that those values are incorrect now if we come down to where it says stretch and at the moment it's saying there's no stretch applied if I click on standard deviations this will then force ARC to calculate the statistics of this particular image so I click on yes for this one and it might take a little while to calculate the statistics but what that's then allowing it to do is to first of all figure out what the minimum and maximum values are going to be for display. So we've got a low value now of minus 1 and a high value of positive 1 which we know is correct now for an NDVI and now it's going to understand how it needs to display that. We'll also display the background value as blank and if we hit OK now we now see our image which looks a lot better than what it did when it opened up just as a grey square.